What's up everyone and welcome to a new Minecraft video. I'm Kax Monkey, and today we are checking out the new beta launcher for Minecraft Java Edition. This launcher just got released some days ago. I'm here to check it out with you and also send my thoughts and how you could get this yourself. So starting off, how do you get this new launcher? I'm here in the old or the default launcher. And you need to go to the settings tab up here and click this update to beta versions of the launcher. After that, it says here a new version of the launcher will automatically be installed next time the launcher starts. So then you can close this down and start up the launcher once again. And there we go. Here we have the new launcher. And let's now go through how the features of this launcher are so far. First of all, I like how this looks much more than the older version. And we have the same tabs, and yes, they are in a little bit of a different formation. So starting here from the left, we have Minecraft Java edition, and then we have news. So in the news tab, it loads the news. And here we have some of the news. I don't believe this is all the news. And I guess we will get more news because here you can see we have 1.14 and then 1.14.3 pre-release one. So there are some versions missing. A thing I would like here is maybe to have a tab where it says updates and then news, realms and more. So like these stuff are realms and some people don't want to see them. So then it could be good to have some extra tabs out here or below the news tab out to the side here. So to back to the Minecraft Java edition. Here we have the starting screen, we have the play button down here and down to the left here you can choose your versions. If we go to installations, this is where we have all your installations. You can simply make new ones, so you put the name in here, you choose a version, you can have a resolution, default is auto, or you can choose some presets here. You can change the game directory. And if we click here on more options, we can change the Java executable and the GVM arguments. And now we can see the default GVM arguments are starting using Minecraft on two gigabytes instead of one gigabyte. Also here where you can choose the versions, you can click on the version and you can see we have this download server buttons. So if you click that, then you will launch up a window for your web browser and it will download the server.jar file if you want to make a server. This should work for quite a lot of versions. We could probably take one of these old ones and here you can see 1.5.2, we can get a server of this as well. But of course the really old one like the alpha versions don't have servers. You can also click play here and that will launch up the game. You can see preparing down here or you can click on this side out here and you have the edit and duplicate buttons. So. If we go to edit, you get up the same little window as we had when we created a new one. We can have our options here and everything. And if we don't have one of the default ones up here that everyone gets, if we take like 1.13.2 here with Optifine, then you can see that you can change how the installation will look like as well. Going over to skins, we don't have much here yet. This have not been implemented to the new beta launcher. So you will need to do this on Minecraft.net or in the old launcher. And to patch notes, here we have the patch notes of 1.14. Sally, we don't have 1.14.1, 1.14.2. And I believe they actually should add in the last patch notes for all updates. So you maybe have 1.14.2, 1.14.1 and 1.14. 1.13 is probably not really needed because that's a really old one. And if we go down to settings down here, we have the default settings for the launcher. We have language, use the beta versions. If you unclick this, then you will get back to the normal launcher that I showed earlier. And then we have keep launcher open while games are running, open output log when game starts and automatically send crash reports to Mojang. Then we have your accounts. So here you can add accounts or switch between accounts. You can see up here that it logs in. And then about this is about the launcher and here you can report bugs as well. That is pretty much it about the launcher, but I have some concepts on the launcher. So I will put them on here on the screen and talk about them. 
So we start with concept one. On the side here, you can see I have added in versions below the Minecraft Java edition. And this is much simpler to just click there and then click play on the much bigger play button that I also have increased the size of instead of choosing your releases down there next to the settings button. I've also extended the whole black bar at the bottom so you don't have these little awkward gaps at the sides. And concept one also have these other Minecraft games. So we have Minecraft Dungeons, Minecraft Story Mode, and Minecraft Windows 10 Edition. So you can get all of these versions directly from the same launcher. Going over to concept two, here we only have the versions and not the different Minecraft games. Otherwise, it's the same as the old one. And to the third concept, here we don't have the versions for Minecraft Java Edition, but we have different games. And this could also be if you click on Minecraft Java Edition, then you can see the versions. But if you click on, for example, Minecraft Dungeons, then those versions will go away and you will only see options for Minecraft Dungeons instead. The same thing could go for the news up there, as I said earlier, where we have one that says releases, one that says realm and one that says news or something in the forms like that. But that is going to be it for today's video everyone. If you liked it then please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to not miss more of these Minecraft update videos. I've also launched a new playlist that is called Minecraft 101 and that is showing simple farms that you will need in your worlds and also tutorials on stuff that works in 1.13 and 1.14, more of the newer versions. Because if you are out searching on YouTube, it's quite easy to find old tutorials that no, no longer works. So I've updated them and put them on in this playlist. But that's everything for today, so see you all later.